where am I off to today? I'll tell you when I'm out there. Uh, conditions look a little bit better. Uh, there's a bad bit of real bad stretch of water with tidal races and uh, overfalls that I'm sort of wary of, but there's no wind. I'm just the day after spring tides though, which is. So I'm going to try and get over there. There's a wee cruising thing here in Orkney, it's called Orkney Marinas. And it says about going through the, the firth in here that's all, it says it goes slack at one hour after Kirkwall. But when I look at my almanac, it's, it's fucking totally different. And I can't see the Admiralty tidal was being wrong, but this is local knowledge, so. And it's in the wee Orkney Marinas like booklet thing. Or online thing, so let's see what happens. So this is the weather I've been waiting for anyway to go through there. Uh, it's all good this morning, uh, 7 to 10 knots, but then by afternoon it has to pick up to about 20 with moderate seas, 4 foot seas. Brought me lovelies. We're leaving uh, Otterswick now. Uh, have the engine taken over? just to get some charge into the batteries because as you know my wind generator is broke it's been a costly trip but the show goes on uh, just out here there's a bad race up here so I need to be careful in it it's off North Rollins eh? be careful in North Rollins eh? the water's around is pretty pretty hectic so that's me heading off and where am I heading I'll tell you later the anchorage in here in Otterswick, there's good holding in sand. I had 20 knots last night, anchored in 5 metres, no, 8 metres. I let out all my chain and a good bit of my rope and never budged. Uh, pretty hot. I, I had to actually move. I went in too close yesterday when I first came here. I made a bit of a balls of it to be honest. It, just a a rookie mistake, we all make them, so it just had to come out a bit, I didn't run a ground running, I just, I looked in there and I had fucking 1.9 1 1 to 2.2 on the McKeel just when I was moving about, so it was time to move, so I came out to deeper water, just lifted the anchor and let the wind blow my back right onto the odd channel, so sometimes it happens. Okay, so it was dead, dead crazy there, see it's just a load of here, there was like a load of baby wee sharks on the top of the water, a load of them. Anybody have any idea what sort of wee baby sharks would be on top of the water? Definitely, definitely shark like. Fucking hell. Storm prep. <laughs> well, my juice, red ball, bickies. Just in case it gets rough later, I have it all at the tiller. And then, uh, you know, if uh, it's just if I need to stay in that tiller if it gets wicked. But I, I think it should be alright today. I think I can see my destination and it's quite mad to think what that is if, if that's what I'm seeing. It, it can be nothing else. It can be absolutely nothing else. Oh, I'm off! I've still one reef in. I'm coming out under reef here. If a crew would have full sail up and make more ground, but I don't need to. I'm, I'm timing this race. Uh, I'm timing this race and it's giving it to pick up all through the day. So. I'm doing 5.3 knots now, so really I'm cruising at a nice speed. And <laughs> I'm excited! It's a good old day. My timing's just perfect here. Uh, about 20 past, I'll be coming to the second set overfalls. As I think it's off Dennis Head and Rollins, uh, which is bad overfalls, okay, and the stretch quite a bit. Uh, that's why I see starting to move about a bit in here now. But I've timed it right, so I'm here. It should be in the round slack water, so and slight wind, so all is well. The mud boat coming behind. George and all you followers helped me get. Thank, thanks a lot, guys. I want to say thanks, and <clears throat> for this whole trip, I'm not even going to have one beer. And it's just out of respect for you guys that helped me towards that. Because I don't think it would be you helping me and then me having beer. It's not on. So, until I get myself sorted out. No beer, until I'm home and 
and all things sure we both forget that sort of uh, fingers crossed anyway so thanks guys for all the help and that's why I'm not drinking the, the rest of this trip I, say, I said I wouldn't so I'm not and, and, it's, and it's for you guys that donated this so just when I'm sailing along here right Fur Isle sort of in front and I'm veering off to go to sort of the west side of Fur Isle right at the minute the tide's still flowing out to the sort of west so when I come across the tide's carrying me out right and then what happens the tide will change and then it'll start sucking my back in but my theory of coming out and across more out to the west is when the wind changes nicely southerly that then when I'm out more to the west then I can turn on to it and then I'm, I'm keeping I'm not sort of running near downwind so to speak I'm, I'm getting a, a real good seal fucking set and power on the seal to move in uh, I know I said I come, I come out on one reef and it was way too light so I stuck in an hour reef. Uh, the wind will increase today about dinner time or just before it. Uh, so when it gets up, when it gets up in around, for me, when I'm on my own, when it starts going up in around 16, 17, then that's when I reef on my own because it's easier reefed at that. If I wait right into the 20, I'm starting to rush and everything's just more pressure. So do it about 17. It's nice. <laughs> Variable wind here at the minute, but that's going to change. Oh, that's going to change something dramatically. Setting off, I guess, if you're on your own, even with your if you've crew as well. Have everything ready. And see when it's going easy, I guess. Relax. Switch it off. Relax. Always important to relax. I couldn't ask for a better seal today. The conditions are perfect. Perfect. You know, I'd just like to wee thanks to my daughter Morgan. Because I had no uh, internet signal in there and my uh, the VHF was very broken. I phoned home and she got me the weather forecast last night and this morning at 6. So cheers Morgan. Thanks for the help. Much appreciated. Keeping your old father safe out here. I didn't ask for better conditions. I think after sailing it, this so far, I think it's made me a better solo sailor. Because I've been sailing in bigger seas and I've actually sailed the biggest seas that I've ever fucking sailed. And, and I think I've sailed some pretty awesome seas like. Well, I'm pleased. This is a wee bit like going out to St Kilda. You'll not pick it up in the GoPro, but you can just see it in the cloud there. For, uh, for me, personally, it's another good solo achievement. And chuffed.
guys, it's fucking overfall time in here. And I just know about water and what it's doing. Uh, I'm a right bit off that island town. But it's definitely overfalls. Definite overfalls. Just keep that in mind. There is a sign here at the bottom end of that island for overfalls. But I've stayed well after them for that reason and I'm still getting them out here. And I don't know if it's because I'm a day after spring tides or whatever, but you thought they would tell you this on an almanac or in a, on the charts, but I'm wondering if it stayed super close to the island would it make a difference, but that was creepy in there. They were fucking big, I'm telling you now. I knew they were over falls, I just knew the way they're sitting. Even the way they're behaving, even here. See, I, I swear, I'm looking through the lens and that's no justice. Look at the shape of that. Oh, fucking overfall, surely. Look at that. La, it's near stopping me. Bastard. I'm just going to sail fast, get the wind on me and get the fuck out of this. Guys, yeah, that was a wicked one there, I'm telling you now. They were fucking bad. I wouldn't like to meet that bad weather. Come in here now, I have to start the engine. I've, I've lost all wind. cameras nothing I'm telling you they were fucking big ass getting rolled about there badly I would not like to meet them on a bad day in fact here here's where they are on this chart and, and like they're not marked out here but what do you see this under the up into the approach to this fair isle be very fucking worried there's bad water right side of here all this is shitty water I'm telling you there's bad tides here right fucking up from that other one I'm telling you I didn't like it I was bouncing just be careful around here. Coming in here in bad weather would be very, very tricky. Just be careful. Just be careful with the fucking water around the, these islands. Or this island. Blah. The likes, this may do no justice to anybody, but I'm telling you, just watch this bit of water. Me arrived in fur. Not much here, look. Like. It's pretty nice. That bit down here prime sort of reminds me of St. Kilda and the Furrows. Can I get some tea and then I'll we'll have a bit of a look out? Right harbour development. We'll get a look about in a bit and uh, we'll show you about. Pretty awesome. Right guys, what I'm going to do is take a walk up around. Sort of, I'll let you see the start of the harbour from it's sort of the bit that sits out where you come into the harbour where you've got the North Haven and then South Haven, and it's just sort of this area. Sort of all, I don't know what, the east side of it. So we'll go for a walk and, and have a look. This is the one you always see is famous with this furry gets taken out all the time, and that's how bad the actual weather gets in here. And uh, it's pulled out not more so in the winter. But nevertheless, you can see just how bad it would get when they pull that beast out. This harbour is exposed in northeasterly UK. They put that breakwater in. But remember how open we are here and up in the North Sea, north of Glen up, up really high. And it'll just fucking roll in here. Create a massive swell in here and give you an awful bashing against the side. So be wary here on a north a northeasterly. Even northerly maybe. Unbelievable folks, look at the puffins. The, the GoPro will not pick the puffins up. Huh? <laughs> so see, 
see when you come in here, you gotta watch for the rocks and stuff over there, so just be careful with that. Uh, this is up sort of the north end of Fur Isle. Out here we've got Shetland Islands. And that will be Norway. Amazing piece of coastline. So happy to be here. Love it. Puffin Central. come to Fur Island you want to see puffins and you want to see them pretty close to your boat just walk up around this little headland it's full of them even in times of best you can get pretty close to them there's actually hundreds of them really worth coming up you can actually you can almost touch them not even frightened Got off the boat, went up there, right round along this end here, full of puffins, right in the back, right across, and this side, loads of puffins as well. So there is Fur Isle Harbour, absolutely stunning. North Lighthouse. Oh, that's that other that we no, that we one there. Yeah, we didn't see that one at all. Well, just, we walked across here last night. Yeah. That was the place where we were getting attacked by the skews. Yeah, yeah. In case you're wondering who the strange voice is, that's my neighbour next door. Oh, we did. Vaughn. Oh. You're solo yeah, sailing. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, Vaughn, yeah, Vaughn no, solo sailing around the UK now. too. So. Of course, we've got the bay in the middle of that. So I we hear. didn't really see that. Lighthouse. I just come down that. Look at that. I'm gonna we'll get a walk across here. Unbelievable. And this place class. That just pause it. So, this is one of our old friend, Charlie McBride. Oh, Skipper McBride, he'd have heard that up here when he was fishing these waters. And that's another reason I wanted to come here now, like, that's what made me more determined to come here. Because we'd actually just spoke about this before he'd passed away, so... It's nice to be here, yeah. Uh, as I said, this video's for him, boy. <laughs> Puffins. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing, mate? Is that the foghorn?
sure as you see. The videos never do it no justice. You need to be here in person. It's just a, it's an amazing experience. Were, but the one skews. The skewers just aren't as violent no, as these other ones. Their skewers are. Them other wee ones were quite violent. I had to drop her a few times. It's Fur Isle Airport. Runway. You know, I'll pack that up very clear in the GoPro. Look. Too often you get to walk across a, a runway of one, is it? No. Well, it's just exactly right for plane. <laughs> or is that look up and down? Look up and down. <laughs> you'll be up to the north, so, so folks, we're means of a, a German plane, a, a weather weather plane. That's what I was just saying to Vaughan. I think it was somewhere around here, didn't it, during the war that they flew the planes out. So we've got two chunks of the engine and a bit of the fuselage or something, wasn't it, he said? Yeah, yeah. The tail end of it. Okay. The remains of the German plane. Some history here. The Germans. Well, 
What's that? Like part of a wing for him? Some sort of wing. <laughs> 